Pat Bonner returned to first team action for Celtic yesterday, completing a good week for the keeper, who played his part in the Republic of Ireland's victory over Holland in midweek. But it was his opposite number who was the busier of the two keepers in the early stages. Barry Smith finding Charlie Nicholas in the box and his shot well saved by Michel Pagot. Bonner was called into action for the first time in the 25th minute to prevent an effort by Jerry Britton sneaking in at the post. Dundee were enjoying their best spell of the match, George Shaw was causing problems on the right and Ray Farningham came agonisingly close to connecting with this cross. Then Celtic came even closer, McGinley bravely diving in among the Dundee feet, the ball breaking to Nicholas and Pago producing a remarkable save. But the visitors enjoyed more success in their next attack, John Collins manoeuvring his way through the Dens defence and squaring across for Pat McGinley to open the scoring. George Shaw set about the Celtic defence again in an effort to level things, but his shot deflected for a corner. Celtic could have and probably should have increased the lead before the interval. Collins wasn't too far off target with that effort. And then Willie Faulkner with the chance to do better, with the scoring opportunity inside the box, but past the post. It was Dundee, however, who had the last chance of the first half. Shaw putting Britain through, but Bonner saving at his feet. Celtic had the Dundee defence under pressure early in the second. John Collins doing well, but Pat McGinley just failing to connect with the pass and Verto clearing. Celtic then piled on the pressure going for a second goal and eventually it was to come. Simon Donnelly shot inside the box, stopped by Pago, but Pat McGinley was there to make it two. That goal sealed Dundee's relegation fate and kept Celtic's hopes of Europe alive.